set up for an air leakage test using the Retrotech Q46. Well, what's so great about a Q46? Here, let me show you. We're going to get the frame set up first of all. Okay, well, how do you know which piece goes where? Each piece is numbered, so you know which piece it goes with. Okay. You can put that one down in the bottom there. Notice the rubber knobs are easy for a grip. Let's get it set up in the doorway. Okay. Oh, that spring looks really sturdy. It's built to last. And yeah, it's a pretty cool fan. Why is it so yellow? We designed it that way, that way you don't leave it behind at the end of your test. Oh, yeah? Is it sturdy? Yeah, it's sturdy. Really? How sturdy? Give it a whack. Really? Yeah. All right, then. Oh, well, that is kind of sturdy. It is. Now let's get the pressure tube set up for the gauge. Okay. Now that I've ran a pressure tube to the outside, we can measure the difference of pressure between the inside and the outside of the room. So now I'm going to get the fan set up in the doorway. Okay. The easiest way to do it is to put the bottom lip down first. Now once it's securely in place, the velcro strap tightly around the handle and we can make the connections. Okay. In this end of the umbilical you'll have the DM2 power supply, the flow pressure tube, and the DM2 speed control. How is the DM2 powered? The DM2 is powered with four rechargeable batteries. Okay. And it can be charged up either through an AC adapter or directly through the fan top. This way it could save you a lot of money in the long run over batteries. Do you have to stand right next to the fan to control it? No, you don't because we have a 20 foot long umbilical extension. It's also available on 70 foot if you want to get further away. As you can see now that the power has been connected, there's a status light on to indicate that power has been received by the fan. We can now connect the DM2 using the other end of the umbilical. Notice each port is color coded, so that way you know which tube goes on which end. So the red tube that went from outside goes to the red port, the yellow tube goes to the yellow port, the speed control goes to the top, it's the standard Ethernet style cable, and the power connector doesn't really need to be connected because we're running the gauge off batteries. That's only there if needed. Now we can start our test. So what I'm doing out here, Nicole, is the gauge is a two-channel gauge, and it's reading both the pressure difference between channel A, which is the difference between the inside of this enclosure and the outside, as well as the difference between the inside of this enclosure and the fan. Okay. So what, the way the fan is set up now is it's set up to depressurize the room. So as we blow air out of the room, air is going to have to come back in through any leaks. And because of that, we can measure the flow as well as get the equivalent leakage area and many other functions that the DM2 can, can calculate for you. Okay. See by the fan top, there's a green status light. Yeah. And with that, it's solid right now, indicating that the fan's receiving power from an outlet and it's getting a clear communication from the DM2. What are those black plugs? These are the ranges. This particular model of fan for the Q46 has 11 ranges. And these ranges allow more flow, airflow, into the fan, where it restricts that to get an accurate flow reading. As you see, when we take off the C8 range, that the fan has eight motor mounts to make it a nice, solid, firm mount. Now we're going to turn the fan on to establish a pressure difference. There's two ways of doing that. We can do that using a set speed feature or the set pressure feature. Okay. I'm going to start by using a set pressure feature to establish a pressure difference between the inside of this enclosure and the outside. Let's, let's create a pressure difference of 10 pascals. So you can do that by setting the set pressure, press 10, enter. The fan will now turn on to create a pressure difference as instructed by the gauge. Okay. So once we get up to the pressure we want, we can increase that by f incre in increments of 5 by using the jog feature. So if you press jog, you can ramp that up to 15, 20, 25, so forth. You can even hold the up or down arrow in to go up in increments of 10. Okay. 
the reason that people would want to do this feature is if they're doing a multi-point test and they want to take many different readings over a set pressure span. Now that we've taken our readings, we can scroll the fan down a little bit. Let's say we run into the situation where we're doing a test and the fan's on full speed, let's say all the ranges are off, and we still can't achieve our target pressure. In that case, the gauge has what's called an at pressure feature, where it'll extrapolate the current results of the fan to predict what that flow rate would be at a particular pressure. So you can use that by pressing the at pressure feature of the gauge, and that'll tell you now what the flow rate through the fan would be at that pressure. That's a good feature if you're ever in windy conditions or if you can't achieve the target pressure. We've established a pressure of 10 pascals between the inside and the outside of this room. We're going to look for our results. And you can scroll through many different results on the DM2 using the mode feature. Okay. A common result that people are looking for is their flow reading. The flow calculation is made based on the device, which is Retrotech 2000, and the range. And the current range plate we're on right now is the B range, and you can change that using the range configure button. Now this will give us an accurate flow reading going through that fan right now. Well, now that we've taken all of our readings, we're going to turn the fan off. How do you turn the fan off? Press and exit on the DM2. We'll okay. stop the fan. Okay. As you see, it's stopped now. If you touch it, you notice after running a test, it's still cool to the touch. That's good. Well, Nicole, it's getting out of time. i got to get on to my next appointment. Well, thanks for showing me that, Jake. Anytime.